behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. He was the first openly transgender person to enlist in the U.S. Army in the military, excuse me, that an injury during basic training forced a Chicago man to discharge. Now he's fighting a new battle these days. Morning Insider Lauren Victory details a campaign for insurance coverage. The first photo is actually from before I started Hormones at All. Liam Pepworth Rodriguez opens up about a 13 year journey. And it was something that made me happy for the first time. His transition to becoming a man began with testosterone shots. Years later, he went under for a mastectomy, followed by a hysterectomy last fall. This spring, he planned to be done. I am so distressed and uncomfortable in my body. But scheduling his final gender-affirming surgery hit several snags starting in January. From a months-long dispute with one hospital to battling for insurance coverage at another. Finally in May, Medicaid provider Illini Care gave the green light. I was so excited. I was like, okay. Maybe this is actually going to happen this time. Then came weeks more of back and forth with insurance over who would pay for his required electrolysis. That easily costs several thousand dollars. I've been exhausted. I've had days where I feel like I can't keep fighting this. The thing is, he shouldn't have to fight. Governor J.B. Pritzker expanded Medicaid coverage to include gender affirming surgery more than a year ago. So why all the holdups? Papworth Rodriguez believes he's one of the first to test the policy. The waiting has been the worst part. Representative Greg Harris worked on this case. He tells CBS2 he thinks Illinois' managed care organizations need to reevaluate the handling of transgender health, review their network of providers, educate their claim specialists. Papworth Rodriguez has a solution too. I would really like to be involved in writing policy for this state. We shouldn't have to fight tooth and nail every step of the way to get the care that the state of Illinois law says we are entitled to. More in victory, CBS 2 News. Pat Borth Rodriguez is officially scheduled for a consultation with a surgeon next week. The Illinois Department of Health Care and Family Services could not discuss his specific case, but a spokesperson says that DHFS is working with the LGBTQIA community to educate providers about last year's policy change. CBS2 did ask for the date of the next meeting between said stakeholders. We're told only that they meet regularly. Now, if you want to see more stories, like this, you can head to our app, you can download it and look for the section called Morning Insider.